What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Sword and Shield. In today's video, we're hopping back onto the ranked double ladder with this Comfy and Bufalant team. And guys, I've been seeing Comfy all over the ladder with this ability, Triage. It is awesome. I cannot wait to show it off. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. You guys seriously rock. Thank you guys for all the support, but we got Azumarill rocking in that fun spot. Azumarill, we showed off Azumarill with this exact same moveset, item, and ability. It is so good. Player up for stab, liquidation for stab, aqua jet for stab, and first turn priority, and belly jump. If we can set up that belly jump, it's game over. This thing will roll out. It has huge power to boost physical attack and citrus berry to actually trigger after we use our belly drum. We got Meowstic over here. Normal Meowstic with that light clay. Double screens, fake out Thunder Wave, just a pester Pokemon over here. Slow him down. We can speed control and set up the screen. You guys already know I love to set up screens and play things slow, so Meowstic will probably be showing off a good bit in today's video. We got Life Bureau Cinderace, absolute monster of a Pokemon. This thing has been crazy ever since it's been released. Life Orb with Pyro Ball, Sucker Punch for first turn priority, High Jump Kick, and Iron Head, and all stab moves because of his ability. Just so good. Been dominating the meta. This and uh, Grassy Surge Roll Boom has just been so strong. I feel like they have been like the top two Pokemon in the online meta right now, so. We'll see. We'll see how we can roll out with that. We got Gallade over here. I'm going to talk about Gallade first because I, I like to save my two new Pokemon for the end. But Gallade, this Pokemon is actually going to be awesome. I feel like we're going to be using him a lot. He has close combat, steadfast his ability, focus as his item, ally switch, and then he has double guards with quick guard and wide guard. Wide guard can actually protect us from expanding forces in the psychic surge. So that's going to be awesome because that is so big right now. And quick guard can actually protect us from grassy glide in grassy surge so two very big moves that are going on right now we can cover up with this glade right here so i think that's going to be tons of fun and awesome to use then we got Bufalan over here with sap sipper assault vest head charge for stab throat chop close combat and zen headbutt all three for coverage moves right there but this thing is sap sipper so it's going to work well with comfy over here comfy has a babiri berry giga drain floral healing trick room and protect and is Ability is Triage right here, so which gives them first turn priority with healing moves. So Giga Drain will get first turn priority and Floral Healing. So we can actually go into a Giga Drain up against that Bufalant, Sap Sipper it up, get that attack boost, and roll from there. But we can actually keep him in there and then keep healing with the Floral Healing because we get first turn priority. The only thing I got to watch for is going to be in that uh, Psychic Terrain because all these are first turn priorities. And Psychic Terrain says, nah, nah, we don't allow that. But if you guys want to shout out this team for yourself, Rental Code is at the bottom of the screen. Shout out to my boy Tommy B for sending me this team over on my Twitch page. He comes hangs out on my streams. Seriously, thank you so much. This team looks awesome and I cannot wait to show it off. But let's hop onto that rank ladder and get going with this team. I know exactly what we are facing off in battle number one. I'm almost positive we used the exact same team or something similar to this. This is an angry point Tauros team with Frost Slash to trigger that angry point and max out his attack. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to slow this one down, play this one a little slower, and uh see how we can play it. See how we can play it. Um hmm. How do I wanna do this? How do I wanna do this? I have no follow me Pokemon. So I can't just follow me the uh, the frost breath. Hmm. I do have fake out with Meowsic and I could just uh, slow down everything. Or I can just bring out Big Dog and Max Knuckle and do some work on it. With Cinderace, that could be cool. Then just floral healing it up all day long. Could always do that. Could always do that. Um, bu -bu 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 you know, I'm actually going to go here. Actually, I want to set up screens. I do want to kind of set up screens. I love setting up screens. But at the same time, let's go screens and uh, Cinderace. I guess we'll go screens and Cinderace. I don't even know what I want to do here. Hmm. You know, I can always uh, withdraw. We're gonna we're gonna go go later. We're gonna set up screens, go go later. We're gonna go comfy, and I think we're gonna go Bufalant. Then we're gonna get Bufalant and uh, keep Cinderace out of here because we already showed off Cinderace plenty of times. Even though Cinderace would be a monster here, as always, it's always just an absolute beast because everything is stab, everything is big damage. It's amazing. But guys, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys are gonna be picking up Paper Mario: The Origami King. I believe it comes out this Friday, July 17th. I cannot wait for that game. We're gonna be doing a playthrough on the channel. So hopefully you guys are hyped, even if you're not picking up the game. Make sure you watch it, hang out with me. It's going to be tons of fun, it's going to be a blast. But this guy leads Frostless and Tauros to trigger that anger point. I already know what's going on. I already know about this, and look at Shiny Meowster. It looks gorgeous. I always love the Pokemon that look that are gold. Like, Azumarill looks amazing. Hopefully this one is uh, Shiny. If not, it's all good. It's no big deal. But I cannot fake out the Frostless. This is the tough part. He's definitely going to Dynamax here. So there's no point. Do I just T-Wave that or set up the Reflect? I kind of just want to T-Wave him. I kind of just want to T-Wave the Tauros because he's going to go after my Glade. My Glade's sashed anyway, so I'm fine with that. I'm totally fine with that. And I think I just drop a big old close combat. And then I can set up the Reflect next turn and be chilling just fine. Because he's got to be Dynamax, right? Yeah, he's going to Dynamax here.
So I think maybe two close combats can take this thing out, but I think Frostbite might outspeed my uh my what's it called? My Glade next turn. So we'll actually see. We'll actually see the speed difference right here. If if that's the case, I'm gonna have to paralyze and take it out. Boros gets that Dynamax. He's giving it that Frost Breath. Guaranteed crit. Trigger that uh anger point. T Wave comes out. Yo. Hopefully we can uh, slow this thing down and uh, make this thing miss a turn, miss a G Max turn or Dynamax turn. Cross breath comes out. There it is. Well, there it is. We saw that coming all day. I said that from the beginning. Anger point coming out. We gotta watch out. Hopefully he's going after my Glade. Instead of my Miasa. Close combat comes out. How much damage are we doing? That's nice damage. We might be able to take out next turn. We might be able to take that thing out next turn. We'll see. We will see. Taurus is paralyzed. Yo, just what your boy wanted. Just what your boy wanted. Awesome. So we still have Versace. I am going to. Uh, Paralyzed Frost last, and I'm going to drop another close combat. I'm gonna drop another close combat. What you want, fool? What you want, yo? We coming in hot early on. We coming in hot early on. Good thing I did not bring that Cinderace. Now I get to show off all the newer mods. Thunder Wave coming out here, and I got Confi and Bootflint in the back. We got Confi and Bootflint. Meowstic is so good. Just controls everything with the Paralyzes, and I can still set up screens. We're gonna have a good time. Let's close combat take out. Yeah, yo. Bye bye. Bye bye, Tauros. Bye bye, Dynamax. Get out my face. I still have my sash as well. We are chilling here looking good right now. I think he's going to maybe go for an icy win. But I'm just going to keep Meowstic out here and just start uh, screening up. Bro, another paralyze? Yo, let's go. Gene's luck is on today, baby. Gene's luck is on for his first battle. Let's get it. Let's get going here. Love to see it. He brings out Skizzies. He brings out Skizzers. Oh, Shiny Scissor. Looking good. Looking good. And I know a lot of people, they're just like, oh, let me set up my reflect first. But a lot of people, they're like, oh, buh, buh, buh. I do want to paralyze that. <laughs> but a lot of people are like, like they say in the comments section down below, like all my mistakes and all that. Like, guys, I get it. I'm not like a professional player. I play this game for fun and to entertain you guys. I enjoy making videos for you guys and having fun playing this game. So, like, it's, 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 not, it's not that serious. It's not that serious when I make mistakes and all that. Because... Quite frankly, I don't really care if I win or lose the battles. I just care about me having fun and bringing out content that you guys enjoy all around. But this guy goes for a dual wing beat, which is perfect. That's going to take me out through my focus sash. That move is so good. Oh, go, baby. Gets that double crit, which I'm cool with. I think I'm going to get Boof land out here now. Do I get Boofs out here? Do I get the Boof skis out here? Yeah, I think Boof land's got to come out here. We can't have two support mons. These Pulty guys. Oh, what did he do with my light clay? What happened with my light clay? Take my light clay? Or did you wait? What that move do? Hold up. Do I not have light clay anymore? I, all I saw was the thing to say something about light clay. So I don't know. We do have reflect up. I can set up a light tree now, which will help us up against that. Uh, that which I'm gonna call it. That frost slash and boof lant coming out here. Boof lant's looking type nice. Let's get that dynamax rolling. Hold up. I'm gonna see something real quick. What happened with my light clay? I don't know what Pulte guys does, so or Pulte guys does. Let's set up the light screen now. Do I have the reflect? I think I, I think I have the reflect. I'm only make sure. Yeah, we got the reflect up, so light screen's gonna come out here. Dude, Meow Stick's just here, having a blast. We're gonna Dynamax him, and I'm just gonna go into a Max Darkness or Special Defense and take out this uh, Frost Slice at the same time. Actually, I feel like the what's called is more of a threat. I really do feel the uh, what's called is way more of a threat. I could set the Psychic Surge, but that wouldn't help me when uh, what's called comes in here. Hmm. You know, I'll just I'll just go from here. I'll go here. I'll lower special defense here. We'll take out the Frosty Poo, but I believe it is gonna be Sash. What's called can't do anything. Um, uh, Miasic can't hit for nothing. But I feel like once Miasic goes down, we're, we're just gonna paralyze uh, Scissor. We have our screens up, or I can swap into Comfy and just keep healing up this Blue Flant to kind of run out this battle. Blue Flant coming out here. Look at the HP, 364. This thing's an absolute beast. This thing looks like it's Tauros's cousin. It's Tauros's cool cousin. Okay, he's gonna swap sides. I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. We're gonna go for that ally switch. We'll go for that light screen. Mwah. Spicy light screen. But yeah, Boofalant's uh Taurus' cool cousin. Dual wing be coming out here, yo. That's a tasty snack you got there. We're already like very defensive bulky. But I really wanna get out what's it called. I really do wanna get out uh what you call. Oh, that thing is lightful. We might be able to take this thing out here, even though it's not sad. I hope we can. Boop! Take him out. Okay, scissor gone. That is beautiful. I would love to get out Confi here, but I think we're just chilling here. I think I just paralyze out. Let's see what goes on. We have minus one special defense there. I could max strike the next Pokemon that comes through. And we still have two more turns in our Dynamax. In our Dynamax. Like, Frost Slice isn't posing a big threat to me. But that Cinderace is. But that Cinderace is 100% posing that big threat. I definitely got to slow it down. And go into a max strike. So we're definitely going to uh, go into a 
T wave and then just drop a nice big old max strike on that thing. Does this thing ally switch? That's the real question. Does he ally switch? Because if he ally switches, then the max strike will not hit, and I kind of don't want to risk that. So I kind of just want to go into something more so like max darkness. So we'll do that just in case he ally switches. Let's see. Frost less paralyzed. He was going for the ally switch, so I didn't make the right call, but the what's called actually did help us out. Oh, we miss our T wave? That's whack. But our, uh, our paralyzed helps us out there. He goes for that high jump kick, and that's, that's a little scary. We kind of need that T wave there. Max Darkness coming in here. Do some work on it. Take him out here, Boof. Bruh. Change the fighting typing. He changed the fighting. The ally switch is scary, man. The ally switch is scary. Alright, so we got special defense on. I don't know if we're going to win this one if, if Boof Land isn't alive here. I hope we got T wave on that thing again. He's gonna go for the ally switch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read it. I'm gonna read it hard. Much I don't want to set that psychic surge. We cannot set the psychic surge. I'm just gonna read it. I'm just gonna read the ally switch. Yeah, it's like T waves. Oh no, he doesn't ally switch. You biscuit. You biscuit, man. Takes out my boofs. Not my boof lamp, man. He takes out my boof lamp. Oh man, made the wrong call, man. Made the wrong call. Jeans goes down. So he's paralyzed. <laughs> this dude's not having it. Man. I should have got Comfy out way earlier. Swapped out the Meow Stick for that uh, Comfy. That could have been huge. But Comfy coming out here having some fun. Hello, Comfy. It's not grass typing, which is cool. Just strictly fairy. And can we uh, do this now? Can we, <laughs> can we get the Paralyze finally? And we could start Giga Draining. We do get first turn priority. How fast is Comfy? Well, it doesn't even matter. Comfy always has first turn priority. And Incinerate's coming out here. Or we'll, we'll start doing damage on that thing. Giga Drain coming out. Yeet! Get him! First turn prior. Not bad damage, Comfy. Slow that thing down, Meowstic. Frostlight's paralyzed again, bro. <laughs> this dude's not having it. Finally, we land a T-Wave. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm not playing around, man. I'm not playing around. Iron Head comes out. Ooh, that's scary. That's a scary move. Eat it up! Eat it up! We got Babiri Berry, so we'll definitely be able to eat that up. And we have a Reflect up. Dope. Comfy's pretty bulky, too. I think we might we might have been able to eat that up with, with that... Uh, doesn't even matter with that, oh, what's it called? Without the berry. I don't even know what to go into here. Can't do anything, I don't think. How much longer is under the screens? I wish that we had, like, ally switch. I can kind of just pass it around, but... Hmm. I guess we'll try to land a fake out. <laughs> uh, Giga Drain? I could Floral Heal up. But that's only for, uh, other Pokemon. So I'd rather just go for a straight Giga Drain. It's not very effective. I think he's gonna go, maybe go for the ally switch. He's gonna stay that, uh... This is tough, man. This is tough. Big out comes out. <laughs> Bailing. You can drink. Come on, Comfy. I need you here. Get some HP back. There you go. There you go, girl. I think she's dead next turn, Comfy. It is, it is good to know Comfy outspeeds that. Uh... Oh, we got we got first turn priority, so that doesn't even matter. So that doesn't even matter. This thing's going for another Iron Head, probably. Yep. Eat it. Eat it, Comps. Nope, does not eat that one. Was that a crit? It might have been a crit. Yeah, oh my god, he crits. But still, that was actually a very close match. That was a very close match. I feel like I definitely could have won that one. But I would have swapped out Meowstic way earlier. Just keep that boot flying alive with floral healings and all that good stuff. But we end up losing that match. And we're going to go 0-1 in battle number one. So let's hop into our second battle. And try to get ourselves our first win with this team. It is time to get ourselves a win with this team. He's got a Sandstorm team right here with Trick Room for the Dust Clops. Sylveon, Alkazam. Alkazam is a very cool Pokemon. And Togekiss. I'm definitely going to lead Cinderace here. No, like Cinderace is just an absolute monster. So we're gonna go Cinderace. We're gonna enter up on Cinderace. And then do I go for screens and setups and all that? Or hmm. Or do I go for Comfy just to get that uh the floral healing and just keep my boy alive? I think I'd rather set up screens, bring Comfy in the back end. And actually swap this time, make a better play. And then we go maybe go late for that focus sash. And the ally switches all that good stuff. The guards, he has all that stuff. Hmm. Or I could go Azumarill, just as a nice little back end Pokemon with first turn priority. I think Azumarill is gonna, gonna be pretty nice. Let's go Azum. Let's get Azumarill up in here. Let's get let's get Azumarill up in here and have some fun. Let's get it. We got two support mods and then we're having two nice big old physical attackers coming out here. But okay, okay. I'm ready for this one. I'm ready for this one. I feel like I can uh, roll out strong with Cinderace, potentially Dynamax. I mean, it might be G Max. I haven't even checked. I haven't even checked if he's G Max, but it might be G Max and I can set up screens, I can do all this stuff. I think it's gonna go maybe Dust Cops, no Dust Cops. What's called would have been lovely here. Let's go, would have been lovely. I gotta fake out something and then just dump on another thing. 
Let's say we double into that Alkazam. Let's say we double into that Alkazam. Is this G-Max? It is. What does G-Max Fireball do? I've been, like, wondering what does. This move can be used, okay, regardless of ability. So it goes through abilities, all that good stuff. I could boost defense. I could go after Sylveon. Hmm. Who do I really want to go after here? G-Max Fireball is a tough, though. 160 base damage. Oh! Oh, my lord! I'm definitely Dynamaxing. Do I Steel Spike? I feel like the defense boost would be type nice. Or just special defense shop. I gotta fake out something and then go into a, uh, a move. What do I really want to do here? I think like Alexam could be Sash. That's the thing. Mm. Let's take out this Alkazam here. Let's take out this Alkazam. Let's get it. I think Sylveon could protect. Let's see. Let's just see what happens here. We're definitely Dynamaxing. We're G-Maxing. And then I'll set up the light screens, all that good stuff, and we'll be chilling with that. But I gotta use my fake out. I gotta use my fake out, especially because I think Alkazam is going to be Sash. Most Alkazams are Sash because they are lightweights. They're little glass cannons. You hit them once, and most of the time they're dead. But uh, they hit like a truck, so that's the thing that we gotta watch out for. All right, what are you gonna do, fool? He's going to protect Sylveon. I said that. I said that. Unless he's double protecting. Unless you are double protecting. You do not. And we make the perfect call for the start. What a start. What a start for Jeans. We take out Alkazam. Oh, he's going to trick me first. Go out speed me. You little biscuit. Take my life orb and what you give me. You choice scarf me. It's okay. I Dynamax. It's all right. It's all, it's all right. We'll choice scarf into like Pyro Ball or something later. Oh, there you go. Get out of here. You're still dead. You're still dead. I, I, just get out of here. Get, get him out. <laughs> get him out of here. I think I'd rather Dynamax or uh, Choice Scarf into a uh, Pyro Ball, but we can decide later. But the thing is, Choice Scarf isn't a bad item to hold. Especially, like, because we're Dynamax and I can wait this one out. Like, I'm fine with this. I am totally fine with this. It could have been worse. You could have given me, like, an eject button or something like that and just roll from there. Oh, my God. Yeah, we definitely going into these, uh, these Steel Spikes. I'd rather go after Sylveon do damage on her. Use a bigger threat, and then I, I'll, I'm gonna set up a light screen right now. I'm gonna set up this light screen. Come on, man. What you want? What you want? Yeah, definitely set up this screen as full light. Look at that fireball. Having eyes and all that. Little little hair, little eyebrows. Looking sick. Looking real spiffy. Hey, 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 Make a move, dude. You know you're in some tough buns. You know you're in some tough buns right now. We got the screens up. And Steel Spike coming out here. Who's Babiri buried? Nope. It's just our ability changing. And we're going to do some work over here. I think this might take out. He didn't go for the follow me. Let's take out. We don't even need that life orb. You're going to have the life orb. Thank you for taking it off our hands. Thank you for taking it off our hands. We don't even need it. <laughs> we don't even need it. Cinderace hits way too hard. We get the defensive bolt now. We're bulking up. Uh, I might not even set up a reflect. I might start T-waving out. He's going to yawn me. He's going to yawn me. Fine by me. Um, The real thing is, I think this uh, this thing's going to be a beery berry. Tar's coming out here. He's definitely following me. In. That's a fact. That is a fact. I'm going to definitely set up this reflect now as well, too. We are steel type. So th that rock isn't doing too, too much to us. Fighting? Oh, my God. If we can land this fighting move. But he's got to be going for a follow me, right? I mean, either I had to go for a steel spike. It's super effective against both. Hmm. And then I'm gonna set up this reflect. We're gonna get this big old reflect up here. Let's get it. He's definitely following me, right? I would have loved to went for a max knuckle on it, but the thing is, because I I know it's four times super effective. But if he goes for a follow me, it's kind of a waste of a turn. So I'd rather just go for the steel spike and go from there. Wow. He's not even going for the follow me. We could have just jumped on the tar, but I'm chilling with that. I'm chilling with that. We have the light screens up. I'm going to paralyze that soon. But our Cinderace is going to go to sleep soon. Well, after his turn. I mean, I'll just chilling. Oh, my God. We made such a good call. We're making good calls all around today. T okay, T-Tar's protecting. He's just double protecting, wasting out turns and stuff. But I'll set up this reflect. I'm cool with it. And then I can choose Scarf into a move. Reflect. Yeet. Send it up. And I'm going to just start paralyzing. I'm going to just start paralyzing you Pokemans. Feel a spike coming out. Yeet. Get him! Boop! Doing a little bit of damage, even though it's protected. Um, I might actually just choice into a high jump kick and take out that T-Tar. I'm not trying to deal with it. Thing is going to get his weakness policy. Yeah, I'm really not trying to deal with that T-Tar. I think I paralyzed the Togekiss, and I just go into a high jump kick and try to take out that T-Tar. I'm not trying to deal with that. The Togekiss is enough already to deal with. 
Oh, I forgot we went to sleep, man. What you mean? What you mean we're asleep? <laughs> Yawn's too good. Yawn is too good. Okay, so I guess I'll go for some high jump kicks and start T, -T wave passing around here. It's okay. I still have a zoomer on the back end. He's gonna be tight, nice. Yeah, sick. Go ahead. Give me the paralyzer. Yo. Yes, sir. Make sure this thing doesn't move. We need our paralyzed luck from game one. Then there is his slumped. He's slumped, dog. At least we are iron type, so rock side won't really do too too much. Go for my Miasic, thank you. I'm, I'm I'm done with my Miasic. I don't need it anymore. I don't need Miasic. Oh my god, yo, the paralyzed luck is on today. Have you guys ever seen better paralyzed luck? Usually we have the bad luck, but today, today we doing good. We have both screens set up. I guess I'll go here, and we'll go here. <laughs> and I guess we'll do that. The legit our only thing we can do. There's nothing else we can do. We have screen set up, fake out's gonna fail. T wave, we already T wave the toe kiss. This is our last option. Our last option. This dude's like, he's freaking out. Guitar's gonna protect. That's fine. That's fine. This thing's gonna be paralyzed again anyway. Watch. Just watch it. Watch it. Watch how mad this toe kiss is gonna get. Denarius is asleep still. That's fine. Go ahead, man. Oh my god. Stop it. Meow stick paralyzed is insane. Thing that God, this thing got no Dynamax turn. This dude mad, dog. He's mad. <laughs> Am I still choice into that? Oh, I did not choice into a move yet. I still want this. Uh, I still need you gone. I still need you gone. I still need Titar gone. I know, I know, it doesn't affect Titar, but that was my only thing I do. Hit this, land it, land it. Change the typing, land it. Let's go, let's go, Cinderace. Take this thing out. Connect. Okay, that thing's gone. That thing's gone. T-Tar's out of here. Get him out of here. Beautiful. Beautiful. I knew I needed him gone. Considering I couldn't paralyze him and that uh, he had his weakness policy triggered. Now, right, go for a heat wave. I love to see it. I love to see it. Oh my god, we get another turn so I can paralyze next mom. But I think it is going to be extra drill. I really do think it is going to be XP poo. But yo, paralyze luck? OP, baby. OP paralyzes today. <laughs> this toke is so mad. Yo, wasted all three of his dynamic turns. Oh, this is last mon. I didn't even know that. I think I'd rather just swap at this point. Go into Comfy. Uh, yeah, let's go into Comfy here. Comfy, yeah, yeah. He just canceled the battle. Yo, GG, let's go. One and one with this team. We All we needed was Cinderace. See how OP he is? You see how OP he is. Third and final battle coming at you guys. This guy has Porygon Z team right here with Incineroar, Darmanitan. We haven't seen a lot of Darmanitan since the new season, but that's pretty cool. Darmanitan, Whimsicott, Togekiss, and Storm Drain Gastron. So, sorry, Azumarill. You're out of here. Get out of here, kid. Um, I'm going to go. Who should I go here? Who should I go? Should I go Bufflant into Confi? Bufflant Confi combo? That'd be pretty good. So I can always set trick him if he's going to go with all that stuff. So I'm going to go Boofline Comfy combo. Try to show that off. Bring Cinderace in the back end and then Gallade. And then Gallade maybe? If he wants to fake out, that's totally fine. If you would like to fake out, sir, I'm cool with it. But I think he's going to go Wimscott maybe Incineroar. Ah, oh, but then the minus one's going to be a pain in the neck. Hmm. I mean, I'll take it. I can always like, get the plus one back easily. Uh, let's go... B -b 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 Gallade? Yeah, let's go Gallade in his final spot. And roll out from there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Because if he does go Incineroar, minus one, dude. Intimidating. Why is Incineroar so good? He's just such a pain. I feel like every time, like, you see him when you're going up against him, that's, like, your main, like, reason to worry. Well, not to worry. Like, you just look at that right away. You're just like, all right, he has Incineroar. What am I going to do to get around it? What, like, how am I going to play this one? Incineroar is just a beast. He's just a beast. But he's going to go Porygon and Whimsicott. Okay. He's going to go Porygon and Whimsicott. So he's definitely Dynamaxing that Porygon. Which is... Didn't do bad. I'm cool with it. Do I do I roll a trick room? I think I roll a trick room and I dynamax. And potentially knuckle up. Let's go trick room here. Is he gonna taunt me? Is it, that's the real question. He might taunt me, but I'm gonna go into a max knuckle. I'm gonna boost my attack on my own. What you want, fool? What you want? You don't want it? You don't want it? I know you're dynamax Porygon. Like, I'm not stupid. I played a Porygon team. Things adaptability and it hits like an absolute truck. I do have a Soul Vest on, which is awesome, because this thing is special attacking. So, hit this thing's gonna spaz it. He's shiny, dude. Looking awesome. Look at him wiggling his arms, his little tail. Cracks me up every time. Cracks me up every time. I said this in a video a little bit ago, but I would love to just have, like, a Porygon, a glass Porygon. Maybe, like, two foot tall. One and a half foot tall. 
a glass Porygon. That would be so sick just for my, my little setup right here. I have a glass Porygon. Oh my lord. Because I like to collect things. I really do like to collect things. I like in my in my other room where I where my setup isn't at. I have like a bunch of different collectibles. It is awesome. I'm a big fan of it. I enjoy it a lot. But he's going to go for a taunt. Oh, you little biscuit man. Why you taunt my comfy? Leave it alone. I could still Giga Drain. That's fine. I should have Giga Drain right then and there. He's going to go for a strike here over on my boofs. Boof is going to be able to eat up just dandy, just fine. No Trick Room coming off, though. No Trick Room is coming off, though. Speeds are dropping. Speeds are dropping. You guys already outspeed me anyway. And we're going to be able to drop a big Max Knuckle over here. Get him. Soul Vest says we eat up another, uh... Says we eat up another uh, Porygon Z-Shot. Unless he doubles up into me, which is kind of scary. Get that attack boost. Can't believe we're taunted, man. Cannot Trick Room after that. That's whack sauce. Um, I might just get it. I cannot floral healing, right? I mean, I can always try. Yeah, see, we're taunted. So I can only go for a Giga Drain here. And I think, instead of hitting that Boof Land, because I feel like if we hit Boof Land, then he might be able to take me out with another Max Strike. I said we just go Giga Drain there, take off that Sash, and roll out with a Max Strike over this side. You want to, ooh, he's going to withdraw Wimscott. He going into Incineroar? Yeah. Obviously, not dumb. I saw that coming all day. Yo, Incineroar, and you're gonna pop out with the big girls, all that stuff, and too many, blah, 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 blah. We already know that's coming. We already know that's coming out here. And I want my floral healing up here. Giga Drain coming out here. Yeet. Doing just, just a teensy bit of damage. Just a little bit. That's all we need it. That's all we need it. And the Max Strike is gonna come out again. I think Boofland eats this one up. Yeah, Boofland should be chilling here. Let's get it. Let's get it. Boofland is gonna go get off a Max Strike of his own, which is just Danny, and he's gonna fake out my Compu next turn. Or he might just fake out my Boofland and take him out from there. Which in that case I could guard, but I don't know if I have a guard move. I don't think I do. Go strike coming out here. Boop, take him out. Take out Porygon. Oh, bro, what you mean? It's okay. I get first turn priority with uh, Comfy with Giga Drain. But what you mean we don't take him out? So actually we could go Giga Drain here. Take that first turn priority and then maybe get off another shot over here. And in that case, I'd rather just strike this one up and hit this instant or get as much damage as it can off. Bro, if we were still plus one, that thing's gone. That thing's legit sitting on one or two HP. Sinora fakes out my Comfy, you little biscuit. Comfy, no. Comfy flinches. And this thing goes for Max Strike over on who? Okay, on Boofline. He's gonna take out Boofline. That's fine. I can take out what's called next turn, no problem. I can definitely take out what's called next next turn, no problem. Porygon Z, just with a nice little Giga Drain. And then, do I roll out Cinderace? I could roll out Cinderace. Ooh. Oh, he just dies to life orb. Okay. Do I, do I save him for back end? He might go back into... I did shake off my taunt, so he's gonna go back into Whimsicott, that's a fact. And like, if he wants to taunt me, that's totally fine. I think I just take off his sash and I do some mean damage over onto this, uh... I'll that in Cinnor. Let's do this. Let's swap in my big old Galade. Yep, he goes Whimsicott. He's gonna taunt me again. Or do I... Or do I... Hmm. Where do I go for the Trick Room? I mean, my Pokemon are kind of faster, so there's no need. So I'm just Giga Drain here and get after Whimsy. And I'm just close combat here. I'm just close combat on, over on Incineroar's side. What you want, fool? You better be swapping or something. Better be swapping. Yeah. 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 Go ahead. Go Gastrodon. Go Gastrodon, dog. I can Giga Drain you next turn. Get some big old damage on you. What you want? Giga Drain coming out. Just taking off the Sync Sash. That's all I wanted. I wanted that Sash out of here. Close combat's gonna pop here. I could just uh, keep ally switching. And pester around this Galade now. Yep, he's gonna taunt me. The good thing I just threw a Giga Drain, took off that thing, Sash, if it was Sash. I don't even know if it was. But close combat comes out here. Boop, 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 boop. Not bad damage. So I double up into Gastron. I think Gastron might actually protect, to be honest. And he's just gonna throw a, uh, what's called, onto me. I think Gastron protects, and I think he Moonblasts over onto my, my Galade. What's your problem? But I'm still going to throw this Giga Drain overall. And pose a threat. Hmm. I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna close combat. I'm just gonna close combat on the Worm Scotch. I do as much damage as I can. I know my defense is down. Giga Drain comes out. Oh, and you do not. You do not protect that thing. Take him out, Comfy. Oh, dude, Comfy doing some big old damage there. Comfy, I love you. I love you, Comfy. Doing some work. The Moonblast gotta come out here, right? Yep, Moonblast comes out. Probably gonna trigger my Sash because my defense is in a dumpster. Oh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. I'll take that all that close combat comes out. We get one last close combat off. Not bad damage. Not bad damage. 
another Giga Drain will take out that Gastron, so... Well, it depends. Yeah, he's gonna recover. Okay, so Gastron recovers here. That's totally fine. I think I just got uh, Giga Drain up on him again. Go for takeout. Go for takeout, man. And I still think Cinderace will be fine, even with minus one. Liberia with the stab. And then he has that uh, Life Orb as well. I think it's just a beast. We'll go through another Giga Drain. I don't want to double up into that thing. I really do not. I don't want to ally switch here. I just want to ally switch. And then double into the Gastron. What's he going to withdraw? I'm going to withdraw. You hunko jump. Okay, that's fine. Minus one on my Galate instead of my... What's it called? Instead of my uh, Cinderace. This one's going to be close. This one's real close. This one's real, real close. He's just coming in here pestering around. Doing a little bit more damage. I know this thing probably has like a figgy berry or something along those lines. Alice switch comes out. And we're going to keep Galate open for another round. He's probably going to fake me out. To be honest. Hopefully he tries to read the Alice switch or something along those lines. I don't know. But Comfy eats that up all day. I'm going to go into a close combat. Or you know what? I'm going to quick guard this. I'm going to quick guard this. And then go into a Giga Drain over on Whimsicott. I'm going to quick guard this fake out. You want to go for a fake out on my Glade? That's totally fine. Go for a fake out on my Glade. You can do it all day. You can do it all day. Comfy just chilling, looking all good. I know I outspeed all of his mods except for probably the Whimsicott. Quick guard comes out for that fake out. I'm not letting you do the fake out. Fake out comes out. Yeah, get quick guard. Get quick guard, boy. Get your drain coming. Yoy. Want some nice little bit of damage. I just want the HP. I just want the HP. And the Moon Blast is probably coming over. Did he? Is he reading Alice Switch? I know he taunted me again. I oh, know you're trying to taunt. Oh, he's got a tricker. No. I couldn't have. He's, I don't know why he's trying to taunt me there. Little Biscuit. Now I'm going to go here. And now I'm going to go for. He's got a. I'm going to Floral Heal. I'm going to Floral Heal up on Glade. Come on, Glade. We get that first turn priority with that Floral Healing. Get it, Comfy. Get it, Comfy. Floral Healing coming out. Yoy. We gonna play this one slow. I'm not playing around here. We're using Comfy full advantage here. Get some HP. Oh, look at that. Get some HP. Get a lot of HP. Moonblast coming in here. Eat this up. Eat this up, Glade. Oh, it takes us out. Our defense got even lower after next close combat. Man. Okay, that's fine. Don't know gonna go for it. Flare Blitz. Comfy should be able to eat that up just fine. Then we're getting out Big Dog. Then we're getting out Big Dog here. We getting out big dog. Now I'm not playing around. You guys want to mess with me? We can play games. We can play games. I'm down to play games. I'm fine. I'm fine with it. Yeah. Now you're scared. Now you're terrified. Okay, so who do I take out here? I don't want to get rid of that Wimscott. The Wimscott just seems like a pester. Hmm. I think he honestly is going to swap out that, uh, that what's it called? That Incineroar. I'm just gonna Giga Drain on the Incineroar side. I think he might swap that out to try to get another Intimidate on later. There it is! There it is! So this Giga Drain is gonna be huge for us. Nice big Giga Drain. We probably am, are going to take out that uh that Whimsicott. Oh, we sitting good. We sitting good. Giga Drain coming out here. You nice, nice. We get big old HP. Comfy coming up big right now. My dude, Comfy. Iron Head coming out. La Biro change. See you later, Whimsicott. You're gone. Get him out. Get him out. Get going, kid. Right, you're out of here. He's gonna get that intimidate, and I gotta watch out for the what's it called. We gotta watch out for the obviously the fake outs coming out here. And I think what I do here is if he's gonna fake me out, he's gonna try to go for a water move to or not a water move anymore. We're we're steel. We are steel type. But I still think I have to throw a Giga Drain over onto that side. Over onto the Gastron side. I think that's just the play to do. Bump up, bump up, bump up, bump up. Because he might fake out and then try to take out my, uh, my Cinderace. And I'm not having that. The only thing I'm having that. I'm not. I'm not. We're going for that Giga Drain. Let's go. Let's get this Giga Drain. Go and fake out. Mwah. Oh, you're going after Comfy. Wow. Okay, high jump kick. Land this boy. Land it. Land it. Take him out. Say, see you later. Say, get out of my face. Get out of here, yo. It's not in Cinderace. Cinderace coming up big. Everyone knows this thing is just a powerhouse. We're looking really good. We're looking really good right now. Recover comes out. Okay, it's fine. I'll just Giga Drain and start beating this thing to a pulp. <laughs> I'll start Iron Heading it to potentially get a flinch. 
But yeah, 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 Comfy coming in. Comfy coming in. I'm glad we got to show off Comfy in this final battle. We didn't really get to show off Boofland too, too much, but I did get the Dynamaxim and do some work with it. But you guys get the uh, general idea. This thing's not very effective. Let's start sucker punching. I guess I'll sucker punch a Giga Drain. But you guys get the general idea of the boot plan. It has Sap Sipper on it. I could just go into a Giga Drain, get first turn priority with the uh, Comfy's ability, give that thing a plus one, roll out from there, and then keep on healing it up. That's more so the boot plans kind of thing there. It's a, uh, it pairs well with the Comfy, the Sap Sipper, and the heal that Comfy can provide. But the Comfy can stay alive for a while. I first saw Comfy, I think, on stream a little bit ago, and I got dumped on. Like, this thing was just piecing me up. This thing hitting, it's gotta hit, right? Yeah, okay, so Sucker Punch comes out. Does not take out, but a Giga Jam will take out next turn. So, GG. GG, man. Skull ain't doing anything. Keep going over my comfy, dude. I got big old Cinderace hitting up. But, yo, GG. 2 and 1 with this team. We've been going 2 and 1 a lot lately, which uh, 2 and 1 isn't bad at all. That's actually really, really good. Just think if you go 2 and 1 for your whole career, that's really good. That is really, really good. But I'm going to try to land this high jump kick, have some fun with it, and Giga Jam should be able to take it. And comfy coming up clutch with a jeans. Online gaming community, baby. <laughs> Yo, I'm loving Comfy. It's just a lay. It's legit a lay. It's hilarious. I cannot wait to get my hands on Klefki, Klefki team. So if you guys have a Klefki team, send it in. I love Klefki. I think he's such a cool looking Pokemon. I don't know why. I always love them. Comfy's the goat. What can I say? That thing's an absolute beast. I love how it heals up and it gets that first turn priority, especially with its triage ability. It is awesome. You guys are going to see Comfy a lot more, I think, on the rank ladder. I'm starting to see it a little bit more and more played with Lapras because Lapras is so bulky. Then Comfy can legit just keep healing that thing up for days and trigger its weakness policy as well. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Peace out, everyone.